from morning to now, from 10.30 onwards, we've been having a lot of discussions about uh, books, books and books, or themes that resonate with all of us, themes that emanate from books. So it's a good idea. What we've been trying to do the last eight years, in fact, what all of us do is to make reading cool, to make publishing cool, to make writing cool. It is exciting. I can say that as someone who helps others bring their books out, someone who's written books himself, it's, it's a fascinating, fascinating thing to observe an idea, idea grow into a book, book and in the process, a writer blossom into an author. I think, think lit-fest and discussions like this, this in, the in the context, context of business, business uh, I believe more and more of these are needed. So more, so more discussions are needed. And in fact, one of the things we keep talking, talking about and which we will implement this year, year is to keep, keep this action going for the year. In fact, in fact last year, year we introduced uh, monthly book, book readings. readings. So, so if some of you haven't, haven't attended those, you should uh, just, just look up with us on social media and we'll like like you. But there are these monthly readings, readings and, and we plan, plan to maybe launch, launch one or two more initiatives this year going, going forward. forward. So, that so that this, this tribe, tribe keeps, keeps growing. growing. You know, this, this tribe, tribe of um, not just media left, but book lovers, people in the publishing industry. There are lots of people who enable publishing and book publishing So that's the intent. So thanks. Thanks. Uh, as, as a last, last as an end piece, piece for the day, day uh, we, we have, have Launchpad. Launchpad, Launchpad is where uh, books, books are being launched, launched as simple as that. that. So, so writing, writing a book is an intense, intense effort, effort, you know, no, a writer, writer pours out their, their heart into, into, a, into, into, a, into a few pages. And then, and then they, they set, set sail. sail. You know, the book has, has to uh, set a floor to the top of the market. So, so as, as much, much tension as, as new book, book can get, get it will be benefit. Right? So, so Launchpad is meant to help new books, new authors, authors get, get that attention. So we have three exciting, exciting books and three authors of diverse, diverse backgrounds, backgrounds and also various kinds uh, lined, lined up today for, for launch. launch. Uh, we will we'll start, start with Ramesh Kumar's books. Ramesh Chayugya? Yes. So Ramesh Kumar calls himself a cartoon blogger. And we will hear about his series of not two books, books that, that are on the business, business world. world. So let's, so let's hear more from the finish. So, so the series is our last performance. It is. 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 Amazon.com and I just published two books, <laughs> books. You can check the Amazon.com or Amazon thing. But what I want to highlight is a very kind of comment called Aladna. It's a Swedish tech. And it was just a year back, just a value at 45.6 million dollars. Last month, you came for another round of funding. But you know, yes, how much? 4.7 million dollars. And then they got the same fund standard again. Yeah. And how did it happen? Of course. No, last year we funded for the same amount. It's now our money. It's just this account. And then we funded again. We got funded. But the second is the human started putting so much rich hanging through. I'm surprised that not many people are taking up. No, this is the mic. Yeah. This is humor and satire and so much rich is there. I don't know one more example. Last, last uh, month, uh, no, I have this family and friends mentioned that. No, no, I let you see that. And the first thing I want, I want to watch the cartoon that I found there. Focus on startups. And then the third thing is you know, how how the future is there. How does the future? Wow, it's not a lot of money. Yeah, they didn't say they were focused. They were not. They were not. It's a relatively late. How how the future is there? Wow, it's a very rich. And she was so tiny to suffer the right also. He is more interested in his sports than in Victoria's secret. I don't know what you did. He is more interested in sports than in Victoria's secret. Whatever. I mean, what is the subject and what is the title? So I can go on and on about that. What I'm trying to say is, I mean, all of the other people. Yeah, that definitely one part of it. But also the small, 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 small,
Loud applause, please. This is not, not for me, me. Not, not the life, life I, want. I want. She goes to New York, she does her MBA. She, she works at a top solar firm for one year on a student visa. visa. When her student visa, visa has to convert into a work visa, visa, it does not get processed. Her H1B, H1B process visa, visa does not get processed. So, so what happens when a 20-something-year-old Indian girl has, has to leave her amazing, amazing friends, a great job, and a place that she has called home for three years? I'll tell you. She becomes a CEO, and she calls herself the marketing nomad. In case it wasn't evident, that girl is me. And that's exactly what I have done with my book today. In the last three years, I have managed to build my business. I'm a digital entrepreneur and a business owner as well. In my book, Zero to Four Figures, and we can go to the next slide, please. Thank you. So my book is basically Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. My book is basically 61. I didn't write one, I didn't write two, I didn't write three. I wrote 61 lessons from the first three years of my entrepreneurial journey. The topics cover self-love because your entrepreneurial journey starts with you. It also contains topics on business strategy, marketing, positive mindset, growth mindset, success mindset, and also, of course, relationships as well. So this is what my book is all about. It's zero to four figures, lessons learned by a broke CEO. Spoiler alert, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> we go on to the next page. Okay, so a couple of things that I wished to achieve with my book. Number one, I wanted to change the narrative when it comes to defining success. A lot of entrepreneurs wait till they hit six or seven or eight figures to feel successful. What happens when you're at zero to five? What happens? Do you not feel successful? Do you have to wait till you hit a point to feel successful? And that's exactly what my book does. It changes the narrative. We can go to the next slide. I'm going to make this really fast, guys. Okay, and if anything at all, okay, I think that this book was meant to comfort other digital entrepreneurs out there that even though this journey may seem a little bit lonely sometimes, it does. I'm there. Just, you know, I'm there to make sure that you are not alone in this entire journey. One more thing. Let me talk a little bit about who I am. Uh, we can go to the next slide. So, who am I? And why do you need to read my book? Hi, I'm Priti Madhukar. Okay, I am the CEO of the Marketing Nomad LLC. I have come back to India three years ago. I started my company in August 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. I'm in India. My company is in the U.S. I'm a digital entrepreneur and a nomad as well. I'm a location-independent marketing strategy. A um, few things that I do, I'm CEO of the Marketing Nomad LLC. I'm a podcaster. I'm top 10% global. I'm also top 100 in India for marketing. I'm also a YouTuber where I do vlog a little bit of behind the scenes of my life. And I'm an Etsy shop owner, sell digital products to entrepreneurs. And I'm also a Skillshare teacher where I do put up courses to help other entrepreneurs with their journey. Fundamentally, my entire mission is to empower business owners across the world to confidently implement marketing, business, and mindset strategies. That's my mission. That's my purpose. The last slide. And then, of course, these are a few platforms that you can catch me on. It's Prithvi Madhukar or The Marketing Nomad everywhere. Then, what, the last slide. Oh, yeah, that's the reviews right now. I think I'm top 100 on Amazon uh, for certain book categories like entrepreneurship and marketing. Do give it a look. Take a look at it. Check out the description. See if it aligns with what your interest is. And I think that this book fundamentally was meant to empower people to, one, change their perspective of the entrepreneurial journey. Number two, believe in themselves. That is the most important thing. And number three, understand that this journey is not easy, but you can do it. And we go on to the last slide. 
Yes, I want you guys to take a second, okay? And I want you guys to look at the cover of my book. I'm the designer of my cover, and every single element on there is very intentional. There is one thing that will stand out about the cover of this book. There's an Indian girl on the cover of a business book. And that's, and that's what, what I, meant I meant to do, do with my entire book, to change the gender narrative, to change the race narrative, and to change whatever narrative there is out there to stop anyone from achieving their potential. And guys, let me tell you, I'm just getting started. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, that was wonderful. We need a lot of narratives about uh, changing stereotypes. I hope you're comfortable with that. Time. All the best. Uh, the third of our nonsense book here now is, is Amit Agarwal. Amit, Amit, Agar Amit, Amit, will you please come on stage? His, His book, book is titled Big, Big Small is Big. And uh, we'll let him speak more about it. Ready? Am I audible at the back? back. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you want, want to use the mic? mic? Guys, guys, am I, I the guys, guys who are standing are audible, audible at the back? back? Okay. okay. Just play Just turn it. Just see if this is level. It's like this is not working, but we will have to. So, small is big, you'll start with the video. Okay, no problem. Just okay, this, uh, next step. If it's not clean, please slide. Hello, Slide. Can you identify a common theme in following true life experiences? Or organization ask you 
that, that you within these 20, 20 minutes, you can chant, you can shout, you can, shout, you can cry. cry. Only, Only these 20 minutes, minutes. because that's so intense. So in so this state, state of anguish, I ask the universe, what, what can I do to increase my commitment towards completing this 20 minute exercise and decrease my discomfort associated with it? And the universe all immediately responded. Divide 20 minutes into one minute each and only focus on one minute. Armed with this insight, I started focusing on one minute. I will do this exercise for one minute and then start again. And then start again. And then start again. 20 minutes just passed by. Was there a pain? Yes. Was it painful? A little bit less. And I just, myself was getting resourceful because every one minute I was focusing only on one minute. And then, you know, you know, everybody, everybody else was, of course, shouting, shouting crying in pain and shame. And I was uh, doing, doing it in a normal way. And then, then you rest, rest for some time. I rested. When, when I woke up, you know, on, on a piece of paper, paper I wrote small as big. And then, then, as, as, I, I, start, then, then as, as I started observing small as big in, in three areas, areas life, life, business, business and productivity, I found infinite applications. Now, now you can. To, to, to put, put in my right application in book is against the spirit of small small big. So, so therefore, I curated, curated certain areas in life, life business, and productivity. So, so first, first about life, life first, first about life, life. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are three areas, areas in life, life. power, power of a single thought. thought. How, How can, can one thought, thought make, make or break your life, life or the situation? Micro habits creating macro impact and law of resonance. Something, something to learn, learn in my, my spiritual quest, quest. and if one, one law has changed, changed my life, and I'm, and I'm sure it can change yours as well. So these are the three topics for the life, life part. Transforming business. business. There are the six, six topics covered in the, in the, in the smallest, smallest big part, part of the business. One is all culture. culture. We, 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 we are fascinated about big changes, changes in all cultures. How about doing small? Small changes in all cultures create big results. Second is about, about again, again when we are in startups. startups so I, my, myself, part, part of startup fraternity, this is my fourth startup, which, which I'm part, part of. And, and all this about big, 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 you know, big, big goals. goals. In my, my assessment, and, and in, in this particular topic, you will see the areas science, science research, research, and personal experiences. There are small goals and small wins create big results. Similarly, small teams, power of small teams, there is a lot of academic research and my personal experience, which which is mentioned there. Yeah. Micro meeting, I'm sure, in the last three years, years the pandemic, pandemic will associate more, more, more with it. So, so micro meeting, meeting power, power of less than 20 minute meetings. You get crafting, crafting your niche in startups, startups or, or in the business world, world. Why, why do you need to have so many products? Why, why not have a few products that, that is a niche? And, and the last is Christmas presentation, where using five points is given in the book, anybody can really get concise and captivating presentations. The third area is productivity. In, in productivity, the book unveils the book seven productivity, productivity tools, which, which is in line, line with two pillars of productivity, which is efficiency and effectiveness. Before, Before I end, end my wish for you, may you harness, harness power, power of small to, to grow big in life, life and business. Thank, thank you very much. much. There, are there are certain hard copies available there, there in the, the bookstore. If you wish, grab, grab one. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Amit, and all the best for your book. Show the free offers from love, folks, by picking up their books on Amazon. They've given you the handles, so check them out and do buy them. All the best to you guys.